Hey, this is Derek, and this is a quick preview of Sentinel Explorer. Sentinel Explorer is an online mapping tool uh, created by Esri, which uses European Space Agency data to create maps that you can analyze in a variety of ways. Uh, specifically, it uses Sentinel-2 data, and Sentinel-2 is a program that has a bunch of satellites going around the Earth, taking pictures of uh, visible light reflecting off the Earth in uh, about 12 different bands. It's a multi-spectral analysis, so it's, it's looking at visible light, it's looking at infrared light and a, and a couple of other filters. And what the ESRI map allows you to do is process that information through a bunch of uh, pre-existing filters. So let's zoom in on Ecuador, which is a place where one of Tech Matters uh, landscape partners is based. And you can see that the map is showing us data from January 11th, which is about a month uh, ago at the time of the creation of this video. Um, and I believe what's happening here is that the tool is automatically displaying uh, composite of images um, with uh, relatively low cloud cover, uh, which is particularly difficult to do in Ecuador because uh, they have quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the year. And usually NASA recommends for analysis that you get, you know, a landscape image with about 20% cloud coverage. Anyway, so uh, this menu right here allows you to check what kind of rendering you want to do on the surface. So you can look at natural color. Here, it's just showing the red, green, and blue bands all displayed together. Uh, basically to show off what the uh, satellite sees from way on high. Or you can uh, look at an agricultural lens. So in this image, and I'll zoom in a little bit further, what you have is varying degrees of green and brown. If you click on the little question mark icon here, it'll tell you that it's looking at specific bands, infrared, 1 and near infrared, blue 11, 8, and 2, with dynamic range adjustment applied. And uh, what it's telling us is that vigorous vegetation is bright green, stress vegetation is dull green, and bare areas are brown. And I think you can see some bare areas over by uh, Guayaquil. Um, you could do color infrared, which is another way to look at stressed uh, plant life here. Uh, bright red is healthy vegetation and stressed vegetation is dull red. Or we could look at um, short wave infrared or bathymeric analysis, which I think has something to do with water levels. Uh, it basically says that it's looking at red, green, and coastal aerosol for three and one with dynamic range adjustment applied. So it tells you what it's doing and then gives you a little bit of a description of what this is. So uh, one of the advantages of a tool like this is if these pre-existing um, uh, renders are viable for your particular situation, you can use this tool to generate a map of your own particular area. And then if you like, uh, you can save it to your own ArcGIS online account or export it as a PNG or a TIFF image. Um, you can also do a swipe comparison. I've yet to actually figure out how this works, but theoretically you can show multiple different days and then compare back and forth between the two. Um, or you can get uh, a change detection uh, tool so you can have two different layers and then use the change detection tool to see how something has changed over time. Maybe you have an interest in seeing how the level of stress of an area has changed from year to year. Um, or, uh, if you like, you can also get, um, I think you can get a, uh, yeah, you can get a plot showing your, uh, spectral profile. And again, this is using multispectral and not hyperspectral analysis. So it's, uh, a bit broader. You can get way more defined areas if you like, but on this particular point, uh, we're looking at a, a lens for desert and that lens might look a little bit different for concrete or for urban environments. Um, so these are all interesting ways for you to examine and look at a given point using uh, open data and this free tool created by Esri. Okay, thanks for watching.